I don't know if any of you remember, Paul Tuff wrote an article, it was um, in the New York Times around um, grit and grit and the importance of it and Angela Duckworth's work coming out of Penn State and about how grit and perseverance was more valuable than intelligence. And she was able to quantify that. So we started taking a look at what is resilience and how we could develop it. But basically where we're at right now is a three-pronged plan. Number one is to build capacity in the adults, parents, teachers, etc. Number two is not to tinker with elementary. There's already a lot of good character ed there, but we can integrate resilience into those programs. And the third one is to work with, especially middle school age students, in actually working with the language, practicing, and looking for examples of resilience. This is a already this is an already created unit uh, designed for grade eight students. It fit with humanities, and it linked together seventeen characteristics of resilience with uh, a historical figure. It had the kids uh, interviewing a community member and their aspects of resilience. And then uh, the students were writing their own story of resilience. What happened was, you know, amazing. Like, it, it truly was. There was two of us in the room, two teachers in the room. And for two days, we heard, like, 60 kids get up and talk poetically, vaguely, about their stories. And they were powerful, right? They stepped into their voice. And they stepped into a place of power. You could just see it come out of them. And all the other kids in the room, and I mean, these grade eights are a tough bunch. Like they are ready to poke each other first thing. You can hear a pin drop in the room. You know, everybody listened. And there's a lot of power in that.